Dream Team, it's your boy D. Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the funniest moments in Australian politics of all time. Mega Compilation 2024. I'm excited to jump into this and see these moments before we do. Make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Oh, oh what on earth? Uh oh. Senator Hanson. An anti-Muslim senator has provoked anger in Australia by wearing a burqa in Parliament. I'm quite happy to remove this because this is not what should belong in this Parliament. That's crazy. A return to That's the growth crazy. models of the past. Therefore, Australia is going to have to work harder and more effectively and with greater productivity growth to carve a greater slice out of what may be a... a, uh, a uh, The, the, the power just went out on him for a sec. Is that what happened? That the power just was like, "F what he talking about." Order. Order. The house will come to order. And there's been a power loss through the entire parliament, so that's where we'll leave the House of Representatives. Are you accepting it? No, of course no. not. Rubbish. The government is not <laughs> accepting it. We'll pick it up in two weeks' time. Order! Mr. Order! Speaker, give him a valium. I have a further personal explanation to make yeah, today. It better be better today. than the first two. Oh, Madam Speaker, that sort of commentary. <laughs> the member for Isaacs will remove himself on 94 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Today, <laughs> it better be better than the first two. I ain't got, I ain't got time for no much of your trash. No more of your trash proposals. <laughs> I'm getting older by the second, so it make it worth my time. You control. You're a disgrace. Oh, if we want to have some order in this place. The executive president, the house is not in order. It's just that they ain't got nothing to say when they get caught in those moments. They're not specific when they say, like, you know what I'm saying? Certain, you can't, I don't know, you can't group a whole people. There could, because there's bad people in every group of people, in every race of people, in every nationality of people. And <laughs> there's, there's bad people. You can't group a whole group of people because of certain things. Some bad people in that group did. That, that's ignorance. Uh, yeah, that's dumb. Order. It must be shut down. Because I have to... Mr. Debbie Speaker, there's no member of the executive president. The House is not in order. It must be shut down immediately. Uh, Standing orders are very clear. There's no member of the executive president, Mr. Debbie Speaker. I'll just refer to the parliament. clerk. I'll call the clerk. There's no member of the executive president, Mr. Deputy Speaker. He wasn't here, Mr. Deputy Speaker. He was not here. Last time this happened, Alexander Downer went to the men's room. Mr. Deputy Speaker, point of order. I made a point of order several moments ago. There was no member of the executive president. He was outside. The House should have been shut down at that moment. At that very moment, Mr. Deputy Speaker, you can't buy time to allow the member to wander back into the House. You were not here. You were outside. Everybody the member saw for, it. The you were not present. You wandered away. The member for Mount will be seated for a second. I've referred to the clerk. The clerk's advised me to continue with proceedings. I call the member for Mount. Point of order. There was no member of the executive present. It was very clear. We all saw him outside. He was not in the chamber. He can Calm down, bro. He's here now. Calm down. <laughs> Uh, obviously, I don't know what's going on with the politics in that room, or know what I'm saying. But uh, my guy, he's here. He's, now they can proceed. God, yeah, he about to have, he about to blow a gasket, dog. He about to have an aneurysm in that bad boy. You cannot now claim he was magically here the whole the, time. The mem member for McMahon will be seated again. I've referred to the clerk. The clerk has advised me to continue with proceedings as a. 
respect for the clerk. I did I've... not make the point of order to the clerk. I made it to you. You yes. should have ruled on my point of order at that moment. And I, and you did not. The member you for gave Gutman the honourable will member be time to wander back into the chamber when he was the not member physically for present. Will be seated. What an incompetent government, Mr. Speaker. House duty is not that complicated, <coughs> Mr. Spe Deputy Speaker. You sit in a chair, and when you're not here, you admit you weren't here. This is a minister who couldn't even admit he wasn't here. Couldn't even admit it. Couldn't even have the decency and the honour to say, sorry, I got it wrong. I forgot to sit in the chair, Mr. Deputy Speaker. That was such a complicated task I had at hand. I didn't know what to do. He says it's all about his government. One job, Michael, over here. This is one of the economic team. No wonder, no wonder the economic plan of the government is failing, Mr. Deputy. Bro, you know what I love most about this is that man is sitting over there giving him no attention at all. He just like got his paws in his hand. This man having a whole fit and that man is just absolutely chilling. Just ignoring the entire thing, bro. He is not phased with me. Speaker, one of the government's economic team, one of the so-called brain trusts, can't even get house duty right. And that, that's what we see more and more is the fact that this government is incompetent at every level. No wonder Pauline Hanson's running the show, Mr Deputy Speaker. It does look like you'll be joining us in the Senate. It's an amazingly interesting place, and I'm sure you'll make it more interesting. And Pauline, right now, I will invite you to join me in Sydney, and I will take you out for a halal snack pack out in the western suburbs of Sydney, whenever you want. <laughs> Not happening. Not interested in halal. Thank you. Not interested in it. I don't believe in halal certification. Uh, so let's. Uh, it's going to be a very, very interesting very time. There. It's going to be a very interesting 98 time. Ninety-eight percent of Australians don't want halal certification. So we'll sit down and we'll have a. Good it's going to be a very this. interesting time. But on a serious note, oh, though, we'll congratulations, oh, Pauline. Here we are going again. But the leader oh of the God. opposition should withdraw the interjections that he persistently makes across the chamber along the lines in which you have insisted be withdrawn. The Leader of the Opposition will withdraw without qualification. I withdraw. I thank the Leader of the it's Opposition. Still an the, member, the Leader of the Opposition will remove himself from the chamber <laughs> under I withdraw. It's still an untrue statement. <laughs> 94A and to continually ignore that the member for McKellar, the member, the leader of the opposition has now been advised by the chair on more than one occasion that I asked you as you approached the dispatch box to do it without qualification. You could not help yourself. <laughs> the member of the opposition will withdraw, will leave the chamber on 94A. The member for Wakefield has the call. <laughs> Shit happened. Member for Greenway is jobs warned. For Melbourne, and I've said it any number of times. The in member Victoria. for Greenway will leave under 94A. <laughs> the members for Batman Carayo will leave <coughs> under 94A. Yeah, yeah. There will be silence. The member for Hotham will leave under 94A. <laughs> they kicking everybody out. She kicking. She said, "I'm not having it, Doc. Yeah, if I could, you talk and yelp out of there. 94A." Uh, you, you talk 94A. You are, huh? Did you cough? 94A. You out of here. Sneeze? 94A. <laughs> the member will resume his seat and leave under 94A. <laughs> Prime Minister has the call. <laughs> Is the leader, manager of opposition business, uh, anxious to join the member for Hunter? No, I'm not. Indeed. How is the member for Hunter meant to resume his seat and leave the room? He can do it. That's what I was thinking. Quite clever. The member will resume his seat and leave under 94A. Can't see who's yelling for your back. Was that the member for Melbourne Ports? Well, in that case, you may leave under 94A. The member for Melbourne Ports will leave under 94A. The member will resume the seat. Indeed, having sat down, she too will leave under 94A sequentially. I, the member for Morton will leave under 94A. Uh, risk of adding to the total, I should note that 18 people in one question time is an all-time record since Federation. You don't write crap. 
Leader of the Opposition is the Mr. Potato Head of Australian politics. He's the Mr. Potato Head. You can put whatever face you like. The count is done by the tellers, and pairing arrangements, if they exist, are a matter for the whips. The original question was that the, I'm addressing the House. The, I'm addressing the House member for Karangamite. The original question was that the motion be agreed to, to which the Honourable Member for Dawson has moved an amendment. The immediate question is, the Leader of the House Dang. will cease interjecting. And up until this point, most people working in this building know that it's safe. I don't think it any longer is. And to demonstrate that, this morning I brought in what could be, I brought this through security, a pipe bomb. Um, I also brought in, when I was a kid, we used to blow stumps out on the farm 50 years ago. Um, we'd, get, we'd get some nitropril, a, a quart of distillate, a plug of jelly and a detonator, light the bloody thing and go to buggy. We could blow a tree the size of this building out of the ground. At the present time, there's nothing to stop anyone from bringing those ingredients in here over a period of time through security. Would you agree? Well, Senator, they're under the current arrangements. That is a, a risk, yes. 062. The question is therefore yeah. resolved in the... But what you bring in, I, understand, I guess I understand this point. I guess I understand this point. I would have grabbed him and kicked him out right there. Well, now that you, we know you brought it in. Get up out of here. Affirmative. The member for O'Connor is suspended from the service of the House for 24 hours, under Standing Order 94. Order. The Honourable Member for O'Connor, just before he leaves the House, might go back to his position and apologise to the Chair. Oh, we'll deal with him when he returns. The Minister for Resources. <laughs> A woman sidled up to me and she said, uh, Tony, whatever you do, don't stop wearing the Speedos. And I said, well, I don't intend to stop wearing the Speedos. And she said, and she said could you do me a favour? Could you do me a favour? She said, I said, sure. She said, get some smaller ones. <laughs> well, I've got to say, coming out of that water, I have smaller ones. I really do. I'm absolutely thrilled to answer the question because you know what? It's been 260 days in this place, and I've never been asked a question. Never oh. once. Never once. That's, it. That's their attitude to agriculture. And the first question I get asked for by agriculture is for the member for Sydney, isn't it? The member for Sydney. <laughs> the member for Sydney. And what's the question? You'd think they'd ask a question about how in uh, May we had record movements of beef. Yeah. Over 108,000 tons yeah. of beef. Yeah. You'd think they'd ask a question that we've moved over 1.3 million head of sheep, live sheep. Live sheep. And yeah. since we've signed off the Bahrain Agreement, the price of sheep have gone up by $30 a head. Yeah. Up by $30 a head. An extra $12,000 per semi-load, up to about $36,000 per semi-load. But of course we didn't get a question about that. You'd think they'd ask a question about the 585,000 head of cattle we've moved in the live cattle trade, yeah. something that you were responsible for shutting down. But of course, no, we didn't get a question <coughs> about that. You think we may have got a question about the drought package that we have rolled out over $700 million in concessional loans? But of course we didn't get a question about that. We got a question about a rumour. A rumour. A rumour. So I've heard enough. <laughs> like I said, all the great things that we done did. All the great things that we done did. Never, never once asked us about that. But this rumor you heard uh, uh, something bad we might have did or that we didn't do and should have did. That that's what this question about. Okay, okay. He said, "Hold my beer. Let me answer this." Another rumor. Here's a rumor. I've heard that the member for Sydney wants the leader of the opposition's job. Here's a rumor. Here's another rumor. I've heard that someone from the New South Wales right, from the New South Wales right, 
got uh, conv convicted by the ICAC for corruption. Oh, hang on, that's not a rumor. That's the truth. Eddie O'B. <laughs> oh no, that's not a rumor. That's the truth. I heard another rumor. <laughs> Someone from the New South Wales right, the New South Wales right, also wants your job. Tony Burke, Tony Burke wants your job. Well, that's not a rumor either. I heard another rumor that the <laughs> member for Lily is still in the chamber. No, it's the truth. He's still here. He's still here. So we hear lots of rumors. We hear lots of rumors around here, but we never get any questions about policy. No questions about policy. I welcome, I welcome you. After 260 days, they've finally decided that there is an agricultural portfolio, but they just can't work out how to ask a question about it. Now, we just go back to the diesel fuel rebate. It is your party, your party, that wants to put a tax of 6.85 cents a litre on diesel. So there's only one party to vote for if you want the tax, you. I call the honourable member for Robertson. God dang. My boy let him have it, boy. He said, I ain't playing no game. Let me get him to that mic, and I'm going to let y'all have it. Uh, but we're going to split this into two parts. That's all we got for the first one. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.